Two months of growth, ladies and gentlemen. Two months. And I've got all of this. Um, if you remember my first video, it looked pretty sad and, you know, I just transplanted them so they were all kind of in a little bit of shock. But they've uh, obviously all perked up in the second video, in the second update, a month later. Or at least by a month, they were definitely all flourishing and, and uh, you know, kind of adjusted to their, their new environment. But uh, this is your two month video. Um, again, this little square, which kind of includes a lot of that growth up there, this little square is all from seed. And uh, I've actually eaten a lot of this lettuce already, and I can't keep up with it. I, I guess I don't eat enough salad, so. <laughs> I got a rabbit, but uh, um, I'm pretty sure that it would eat it all at once in one sitting, and uh, you know, I don't want to uh, share it that much, so. <laughs> in fact, he's already gotten out of his cage, and uh, I let him roam around a, a little bit around the yard, but he basically ate most of this basil plant. <laughs> As you see, here's a definite bite mark right there. But um, that's my Genovese basil that was grown from seed, if you remember that, uh, if you paid attention to my last two videos. Um, this tiny one here, um, you know, I've never grown peppers before. And this is a habanero, and it's growing leaves. It just doesn't seem to grow very fast. And I, I know, like, some people have, you know, um, hot, uh, pepper plants that are, you know, about as big as this or smaller, and they're a couple years old. So I guess they're just a slow-growing plant. I need to do more research um, on that. Um, I'm only kind of recently got into peppers, so that's my current progress. Obviously, your dark greens, your lettuces will thrive in systems like this. Uh, my basils have been going quite well. Um, as you see, that is some, I believe, sweet basil. And this is Genovese basil that was eaten up by a rabbit. This big bunch with these beautiful flowers, that's cinnamon basil. Um, the purple basil over there with the darker leaves. Um, those flowers are just as beautiful. And then the catnip in the background there. Um, that one is another type of basil. Um, if that was, uh, not sure which one that was. I forget. Oh well. Um, this this one has pretty very pretty flowers too. Actually, this really tall, lanky, skinny plant amongst all the lettuce. Um, that, believe it or not, is a radish. See that? That needs to be plucked, but uh, I was just kind of curious on where it, what it was going to do. So, kind of see what these flowers were going to do with themselves. So, anyway, um, everything seems to go pretty good. Um, my, um, well, this is my garlic, and this is my thyme. My thyme doesn't seem to grow very fast. My rosemary doesn't grow very fast. But that's, that's healthy. Um, this is... Not too bad. Um, garlic, I mean, that's just kind of for fun. Garlic is so cheap, but, you know, it started sprouting on me. I decided to try it out. So, parsley, I mean, boom, there it is. I don't really use it that much, but uh, it seems to grow quite well. And moving on, we've got, uh, let's see, which basil is this? Okay, so this is my sweet basil. So, this one was growing out of the hydrogen when I uh, transferred it from a uh, from soil as you saw in the first video and this one I transferred it from soil too but it still was in the soil cups it still had the soil and the roots when I put it inside the cups I mean into the system <clears throat> and that seems to be doing all right too actually so um, this funny looking plant I actually had a separate video on um, kinda looks like a flower I mean I, I don't really know what it is um, I'm not a, a native from Nevada, but, uh, I think this plant is, uh, if you remember the video, it's, uh, some things just want to grow. <laughs> That's what this little tiny plant turned out to be. This little tiny plant, this big little root system, 
was uh, part of uh, nature's uh, own planting. So, kind of looks kind of neat. I mean, I, I have no idea what it is. I mean, obviously I don't want to grow a whole beds of, of weeds. But uh, as you can see, it's, it's in a controlled environment. It's, uh, it's only by itself, hasn't uh, populated anywhere. Once it starts, you know, pollinating and all that, I'm obviously going to pluck it out of the system because um, I'm not going to be growing weeds. <laughs> I want to grow edible plants. So um, that's most of them. Um, my peas, of course, haven't really been, done very well, um, but they actually are giving me, you know, despite all of the struggle, they are giving me some peas in the pods. Um, two of them to be exact so really nothing to talk about so and my rhubarb you know my two rhubarb plants I forget it ain't going anywhere my Thai basil didn't really flourish as much as the other basils um, but uh, I should probably pluck off those uh, leaves and dry them up and uh, I can use them that way but uh, you know I mean I, what I really should have done obviously was uh, top them off so they get like a thicker bushy or uh, more more leaves and you know and, and and basically cut the flowers off when they come in because that way it will focus on growing the leaves and the plants rather than giving all the energy to the flowers so um, but I wanted to see it I mean they're beautiful as you can see they're very pretty um, I like purple flowers you don't see a whole lot of purple in nature so you know and would like to grow it myself if I, if I have the opportunity and plus the basil still grows so <clears throat> these are my tomato plants um, these are all part of the two month cycle that uh, the same uh, everything was planted at the same time um, these three tomato plants were the ones that were transplanted from soil so you got the um, better boy here uh, well, the one that looks like it's kind of suffering. Looks like it's lacking in the nutrients of some sort, like iron or potassium. Uh, I'm not honestly sure where exactly what it is. I gotta, I have to, um, <clears throat> have to plenish the system with a little extra nutrients that don't harm the fish. So, um, or it could be that I don't have enough oxygen in this bed, or enough water flowing, enough water cycling through fast enough. So. Could be that the previous bed has taken all my nutrients away. So, um, again, it's all stuff I already know. Um, I need to make some improvements on this system, but I am just kind of letting it go. Um, as you see, it's got its own little tomato here. Again, this is a, a better boy tomato. And uh, we got a bunch more tomatoes on this one. This is your early girl. So if I come over here, it might be better. So you got. Um, at least six of them, uh, seven of them, just kind of in the bunch there, just growing. Uh, and both of these plants are very, very strong, very stiff. They really stand up on their own. So I know I should um, try to train it now and get going up like a, a trellis, and I probably should have done that earlier, but I didn't. There's a lot of things I should have done, and uh, I just didn't. So um, moving on, though. This one over here, this one is a big boy, big boy tomato. I have no tomatoes yet, but there are some flowers coming in. Again, these were transplanted from soil. These were all transplanted from seed. Um, I know that some of these are tomato on the vine. Um, some of them are other various types. Uh, I'm just kind of drawing a a brain fart right now exactly which uh, tomato varieties that I planted from seed over here um, again I might have said in the previous video or at least have it down in my own notes uh, in the house so I will have to update you guys later on that when they start popping tomatoes because there is a lot of flowers so we will be getting tomatoes I promise you on that um, very healthy plants over there actually doesn't seem like it needs as much nutrients as some of these, especially this one. And that could be the placement of the, uh, could be very well the placement of the exact plant too. May not be getting enough oxygen in this corner. Anyway, 
this is my two months. This is what it's like to have a system with two months growth. You got a bunch of tomato plants and a bunch of basil and salad greens, even some radish and a couple herbs like parsley, rosemary, and thyme. Got some garlic. I got two peas, <laughs> two pods of peas, and one habanero plant. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is what you call two months of growth. So there's my little update. Um, Please subscribe to my channel and uh, I will give you another update um, showing you some of the progress and the growth of all of these plants. Um, lots of cool things that I haven't even showed you yet that uh, are kind of exciting. Um, why not do it right now? Give you a little sneak peek. This is a root system. See there's my air. So this plant is just getting a lot of air. So that plant, ideally, you would probably be getting the most nutrients because of all the oxygen that it's getting. And that nutrient really likes to travel with oxygen. So here we go. Where is it? Oh. So that big root was this plant right here. this plant right here there you go well thanks um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and uh, I'll definitely be keeping you updates thank you for watching